Hi folks, Chris Voss here from the com. We just got reviewing the line of Sonos and Blue Sound. You can find those reviews on the Chris Voss Show by searching them. You can go to Sonos.com or BlueSound.com. We're going to review today a versus comparison between the Sonos Connect and the Blue Sound Node. Both these are wirelessly streaming devices that you can plug into your stereo or use them wirelessly to stream music services from the internet, to stream wireless files that you may have either hooked up to it or using your shared network files of your music files. And you can take and play them across your speaker system. So this is very cool. And of course, this will integrate with other products from each of these, uh, the Sonos speakers and the Blue Sound speakers. So uh, let's take a look at what differences between these two. Now, the Sonos look is nice. It's got some uh, buttons on it. Kind of reminds me of my dad's system with the buttons for some reason. I, I Most of their system kind of impressed me that way, except for the Sonos sub. Uh, the Blue Sound definitely is very beautiful in the design. As you can see, if I were to expect Apple to make a Sonos product, I would definitely expect it to look like a Blue Sound node. Very beautiful in its design, cuts, angles, and looks, and everything else. And I think, of course, looks better uh, on the shelf compared to the Sonos Connect. So for my money, when it comes to look, I definitely like the Blue Sound node better. Let's talk about sound. One thing with Sonos is the sound is limited to 48 kilohertz and 16 bit. So if you have FLAC files or high fi digital definition files that are over 16 bit and 48 kilohertz, you're going to have a problem. You won't be able to play them on the Sonos at all, which definitely is a disappointment because most of my library is above that range in the 96 kilohertz to 192 at 24 bit. So I can't play them on the Sonos. I definitely like the Blue Sound node better for this because the Blue Sound is designed to go up to 24 bit and 192 kilohertz. And so it's gonna give you a much better sound quality. Now there is some argument on the internet if you can really hear above 48 kilohertz, so we'll give it that. No one's ever been able to win the argument if you really can. But the real difference here is the DAC that's inside of the Blue Sound uh, for me, sounds much better. The way it's designed, the way it's presented, the way it interprets the sound provides a much multi-layered sound than the Sonos product. What we found was with the blue sound, I can hear the front very well with the, whether it's the vocals or guitar, and I can hear that layered very well. Uh, and I can also hear the other layers, the bass layers, the drum layers, everything is really defined and it's not hidden or put behind something where I got great bass, great mid ranges, great high ranges out of the blue sound. Uh, with the connect, I got much of the same, but much of it's all mushed together, if you will, in a sound that you would normally get from most sounding systems. So the DAC interpretation they use with the Blue Sound, I've been very impressed with. And I got to be honest with you, across all their products, I have liked the DAC interpretation better on the Blue Sound. Now, that's not to say that the Sonos is bad at all in any way, shape, or form. It definitely does sound good, and I would highly recommend it if that's your price point and you like the Sonos product. But for me, the blue sound is much better. Definitely worth the price you're going to pay. And of course, it looks better, sounds better. There you go. I want something that's going to last me too into the future as more HD definition music comes out, Ponos, et cetera, et cetera. I like to have those abilities. So be sure to check them out. You can go to Sonos.com for the Sonos Connect, or you can go to Bluesound.com for the Blue Sound Node. For me, the Blue Sound Node is worth it. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time.